Hi, and welcome to my channel if you're new here. I am TK, and this is a lifestyle channel that focuses on attainable fashion, beauty, luxury, and travel. If that's something that interests you, please take a moment to go and hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so that you will never miss an upload from me. And if you are one of my returning subscribers, thank you all so much for coming back for another video for another week. I couldn't do this without you all. If you see by the title, we're talking all loafers. Yes, it is fall time. It is loafer season. These, this is the time of the year that I love to wear my loafers. And I have a few loafers that I wanted to share with you all and get your opinion on them and let me know if it's something that you would rock or if you're not even a fan of loafers, period. I can just remember when I was a kid, my mom bought me and my sister a pair of these brown penny loafers. I will never forget it. Everyone in my elementary school was putting pennies and I was in the fifth grade and everybody was putting pennies in these loafers in. I mean, I wore those penny loafers to the ground. So I have always had a love for loafers, but I seem to gravitate more to loafers in the fall season. I also wanted to show you a couple flats that I have as well, which they're not loafers, but when you consider the ballerina flats, people kind of put those into the loafer category. So I did want to share a few loafers as well. So if this is something that interests you, stay tuned. So guys, the first pair of loafers that I wanted to talk about, they're not really loafers, they're more of mules, but they came out as loafers. And this is the Gucci Prince Town loafers. So let me say this, I purchased a pair from Amazon and a pair from Shein probably about through about four years ago and I still have those and I still love them and I wear them. So the ones that I purchased from Amazon were these right here. Yeah. So I purchased these from Amazon and I purchased these from Shein. As you can see, they really resemble the Gucci Prince Town loafers. So I purchased these to see if I would even like the mule type of um, loafers and I love them. So I splurged and I got a pair and this is the pair that I actually picked up. I picked up the re-edition Gucci Prince Town loafers with the fur on the back. Guys, I love these shoes. Like, I'm gonna show mod shots of me styling them with them on. But the only thing about these loafers that kind of makes me frustrated about them because all the money you spend on them is the crease in the indentation where you can tell that they've been worn. But regardless of the wear and tear and you know the indentation of them, I still love these shoes. I rock them. I love to put them with leather trousers or leather joggers. I don't know, in a chunky knit sweater, as you can see. But to me, I love to see these together. The next loafer that I want to talk about, um, actually show you, because I'm not really getting into, into specs. And I don't think I'm really going to get into cost because I will have everything in the description box below. Um, just to kind of speed up this um, video because I just don't want it to go to be too long because I just want to show you my loafers that I love to wear in the next, fall. I'm going to go on to the ballerina flats that I have and everybody knows about these Chanel ballerina flats. Guys, I love these flats. They did take a minute for me to break in, to be honest, but I, these shoes, I love to wear them to work. I love them love to wear them you know on a casual day and i love them so much that i actually purchased 
second pair. So yeah, I have two pair of these Chanel um, ballerina flats and I have nothing bad at all to say about these shoes. I love these Chanel ballerina shoes. I wear them to work all the time. Like, and the thing about it is I'm pretty shocked that as much as I wear them, I don't really have that much wear and tear on them. And I'm, you know, pretty impressed from what I paid for these. I'm really glad to see that these shoes are holding up. These shoes are timeless. They look so chic and classic when you have them on with like some trousers or some like tapered pants and those Chanel-esque um, jackets, those tweed jackets. I mean, that style looks so good. Like I said, I am not disappointed in this purchase. And if, you know, later on down the line, I am looking at other colors. I want some tweed type, so I just haven't decided what tweed ones I want, but I will be you know, purchasing the tweed ones. Another pair of ballerina flats that I've worn these to the ground. I, and they are by Kate Spade. And look at these. You can look at the inside and tell I've worn these like crazy. Guys, these are so adorable. Like, I love these. You can see here where the the fur is kind of, well, I don't, and it's not fur, but whatever this material is, it's wearing away. That's how you know I've been killing them. And then in the inside, it's changed colors. But the bottoms, you can tell where I've been wearing them. But the only thing about these are they're not really structured. So, you know, as the Chanel ones, you're going to get that structure that, you know, they're going to be straight. Let's show you how straight these are. But these are very, they're just like, they're easy, they're bendable. But I love them. I probably won't purchase them again. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I love these. And like I said, I've worn these to death. But I just don't think that I would spend my money back on these shoes again, if I can say that, but yeah. So the Kate Spade Ballerina Flats and the Chanel Ballerina Flats. As we're staying on the Chanel side, I purchased these Chanel loafers. I, guys, these shoes are so, so timeless like I just love the look of wearing these shoes with dresses with skirts with shorts I mean they go with everything and you know because of how the top is made with the Chanel signature here it's just when you see these shoes you can't help but stare at these shoes I love these shoes these loafers were definitely a staple in my shoe collection and I am so glad that I didn't hesitate and I pulled the plug on these shoes. And I will have links to these shoes in the description box below. The next loafer that I want to show you, I mean, I would say I was influenced by Janae Naylor, better known as Hilo Lux. I was influenced by her to purchase these shoes when I saw her with them on, I said, I don't care how much they cost, I need to get those shoes. I want them in my collection. I pulled the plug and I got them, guys. Look at these. Aren't they beautiful, guys? Like, people love to hate these shoes. Some people think these shoes are not attractive at all. Some people say they will not spend their money on these shoes at all. But I just thought these shoes looked so 
street fashion, like just the chunkiness of the heel and it gives it that edgy look. And then on the back, how they have the LV sign. I just thought that was a nice touch to it. And you know, the fact that they have the white butt, um, the white holes for the lace, that was genius right there because it gave it that pop of color that it needed. But yeah, these, I love these shoes, guys. I will say, I don't get, as you can see, I don't, I haven't worn them as much as I should because of the price, but I just feel like they're kind of clunky, as I can say, meaning by clunky, they're heavy. They are a little heavy on my feet, and I feel like I'm kind of dragging as I'm walking in these shoes, but other than that, you know, if you can overlook the heaviness of these shoes, I love them. I, I'm not that, you know, I, like I said, I was influenced to buy these shoes and I'm not mad. I am so glad I purchased these shoes and these shoes will stay in my shoe collection forever. I don't care if they're old vintage and nobody's rocking them. I'm keeping these shoes. I love these shoes. I have my last pair and thank you all who's still here with me. This is my last pair that I wanted to show and these shoes I was influenced again by Janae Naylor also known as Hilo Lux to purchase these but she purchased the boot version. I don't know if she has the loafer version in her collection. I need to go back and check that out. But she used to style the boot version so chic. And I mean, just high street fashion. When I say her fashion sense blows my mind, it gives me so many ideas on things that I have in my wardrobe just to incorporate. And like I said, it, her, her wearing those boots, those chunky boots, it just, it made me want them. But I didn't want the boots. I wanted the loafers. So, guys, the Prada Monolith boot um, loafers, I'm sorry. And as you know, they look exactly like those boots that have like the pocket, like the little pouch on the side. But I just thought that... These loafers were so adorable. And guys, these shoes are so easy to walk in. I thought that these shoes were going to be just clunky. And they are clunky. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. They are clunky. But I just, I don't know. It's something about these shoes. And I do like to wear them with these shoes with my leather joggers and, you know, a chunky knit sweater. But yeah, I'll have these shoes in the description box below with all the information on them if you are interested. I just wanted to, you know, come on and show some fall items. And now that we're getting deeper into fall and, you know, the boots will start coming out. So that should let you all know the you know, soon to follow will be my boot, my boots. Um... I'll be showing you my boots. So, what do you guys think? Tell me what you think about any of these loafers or ballerina flats that I showed you today. Will you splurge on any of these shoes for the fall, winter, or will you just remain with the dupes, or you just don't like loafers at all? Let's have a conversation about this in the comments below. Let's just talk about this and let me know what you think about any of those these loafers that I just presented to you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you to all who stayed to the end of this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel and also follow me on my social media pages um, and I'll have them as well in the description box below. Thank you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.